Alright, what is going on folks out there online? Welcome to this video. My name is Brando and today I want to talk about network marketing, multi-level marketing. People are familiar with it as in direct sales uh, or consulting and the reason why I want to talk about this is because I don't know for whatever reason, especially when I got started in this industry, there seems to be a lot of roads you can travel down when it comes to getting customers, making sales. And it can very well confuse yourself to where you're in information overload, you don't know what to do, and you kind of lose hope because you feel like you don't have guidance. I don't know if that's you guys, but I was definitely there in the beginning. It sucked really big. Um, so I figured I'm going to use an example. I'm not affiliated with this company. I am not affiliated with this company, nor do I intend to be affiliated with them. But I've been inside the network marketing, internet marketing, direct sales space for the last three, four years now. And I've been full time for the last three years. So when it comes down to it, guys, uh, the example I am using, I'm not affiliated with this company. I'm not a part of it. I'm not partnered with it. This is not a sponsored video is Avon. All right. So when it comes down to Avon, guys, and this is an example for every network marketing company and just, you know, business in general to get sales, to get customers, all right? You can do things traditionally and you can do things on the internet. Now, I am never gonna dog traditional style because it's what a lot of people have done in the past and it does work significantly. I'm talking about like home parties, home meetings, uh, talking to your friends and family and then expanding your influence through their friends and family. It does work, okay? If you're very consistent at it and very persistent at it and you want it bad enough, as long as you have your wants and your desires and your actions aligned every single day, you will get there, okay? But that said, for those of us who don't really want to take that approach, there is the internet, okay? Now, the internet, again, is convoluted. There's many ways you can do it. You can do paid advertising, free advertising. Um, you could spam yourself to death, all right? Which spamming, I never encourage it. It doesn't work, all right? But a way in which you can ethically get customers with Avon through the internet without doing home parties is leveraging social media and this is a big one but a lot of people do it absolutely wrong they they do it wrong because they spam people or they are very obsessive with their product and service and I see so many people do it they're very pitchy and very self-promoting and you don't want that guys be professional in your business look at people who are getting the results that you want not just in the industry but in entrepreneurship and business in general and you'll see a common theme with them like Ty Lopez the here in my garage guy um, you have Tony Robbins all right business strategist and mindset strategist and lifestyle strategist you have Gary Vaynerchuk you have all these guys what are they doing in common and they're very successful they're giving out free value and they talk very little about their products and their services and the benefits of their products and services. They talk very, very little about that. And what everyone is doing on social media with Avon, Nerium, Amway, is they're talking about all these benefits. Try out my product. It's got all these benefits. It's so good. You can get 50% off if you sign up with me tomorrow. And it's like nobody gives a shit about that. So why are you doing that? And do you listen to people who do that, especially when it's not your friends and family. Like you're going online where not everyone you know is there, okay? I'm assuming you don't know everyone online. And then you're going and talking about benefits of a product that nobody knows who you really are and nobody really gives a shit. They don't give a shit about the benefits. They don't really care about the product. They care about what you can do for them. And how do you do that? You position yourself properly in the marketplace. And this is the key criteria for getting customers uh, with Avon, one way you can do it through social media for free, all right? And when I say free, it costs you time and obviously it costs you money to run a business, but you don't have to do paid ads or anything like that. With social media, you can immediately start building a following by putting out free content. How do you do this? Well, with Avon, as the example we're using, you have a product and offer, you have multiple products and offer, and then you ask yourself, okay, who can we help? Well, we can help males, we can help females. Well, let's say we're gonna help females, okay? so. Females with skincare, with makeup, that is our audience. So then what we can do is we can go on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I'll use Instagram. I've used it plenty of times. You can go on Instagram and then create a beauty Instagram account, like a beauty page Instagram account talking about beauty, how to apply makeup, how to cover up acne, how to hide blemishes, how to hide, uh, what are the black spots, dark dots, whatever on your nose. I don't know. I'm not a girl. I, I have no clue. Um dark heads I think that's what it's called I don't remember but anyway you know what I mean you go on there on social media and you give free advice free tips free help and the cool thing is when you do that you begin to build a following of people who like know and trust you and that is what business is built upon 
relationships of people who like, know, and trust you? Do you think people who like, know, and trust you would possibly be interested in buying from you rather than pitching people, rather than going to friends and family? Absolutely. So how you could go about it, and I'm not an Instagram expert. I use a little bit of YouTube and I use a little bit of other social media, but not really Instagram. But how you could do it is just give value. That is the core of it all. Give value. So on Instagram, you talk about like makeup tips, advice, how to cleanse your face, uh, morning rituals, how to have a healthy lifestyle. You talk about all that and more, being personal to yourself, maybe making Instagram videos and pictures. And what that does is it attracts people to you in that same audience. So then when you introduce them to Avon, they're probably gonna buy from you and become a customer from you for a very long time because you've given them so much free value for free that they trust you enough and they can't even imagine what the Avon products are gonna do for them if they've never tried them before. They can't even imagine how much value they're gonna get from paying you because they've gotten so much free value from you and they trust you because of that. Does that make sense? And that is how you can build a business. It's not you going on Instagram and social media talking about the benefits. It's going on there and asking yourself, what is my audience problems? And what can I do to just create free content that I enjoy, that I like, you know, on makeup, on things around my niche. All right, what are things related to my niche? You never want to post about your benefits or your products. You want to post about things related to your audience, your target audience, the problems they have, the solutions you can give, the tips you can give you know the commonality that you can you can have with them all right because that's what's going to build the foundation of relatability and that's how you know customers are brought in so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys that is one tip for you out of the broad spectrum I figured I would share with you because there's so many ways you can approach it you don't even have to approach it this way but this is the most value-based way you can do it and I've done it I've done it since 2014 full-time so if I can do it you guys can do it too I am not affiliated with Avon yet again and I don't intend tend to be guys I'm not an expert or a guru but having been able to build a full-time online business since 2014 without chasing friends and family being a full-time internet entrepreneur I figured I would share with you guys my insight on it so I hope you can you know appreciate that I hope or not appreciate it I hope you guys can kind of respect my viewpoint on that uh, and yeah so uh, if you did leave a like subscribe and before I go if you're someone who is wanting to learn how to be an internet entrepreneur you want to learn how to build a business online to be able to quit your job fire your boss have time and money freedom to be able to do what you want to do when you want to do it then I encourage you to check out my website I'll link it down below in the description it's once you do marketing tips.com that is where I have a video training series walking you through exactly step by step how I was able to go from a baker in a restaurant to creating a full-time income business online in five months guys without chasing people so go check it out if you're interested other than that guys I'm out peace